Hello and welcome to another live stream. How are y'all doing? Doing good? Been too long since the last time. Well, welcome back, Farvi. And everyone else. Haven't seen Slime in ages either. Must have been at least four days. <laughs> Welcome, RJ Makes. Hooverkins, Ryan, and Lumpsum9. Welcome to your first stream. Good evening, or afternoon, or night, or day, or whatever time system you use where you live. I don't know. Maybe you're an alien and you use some kind of word that I don't know. Or maybe you're French. Who knows? It's 14.00. Well, where you live, not where I live. <laughs> Another streamer I usually follow says, says usually good time zone. <laughs> That's a good one. Good Gropengorp. Ah, I see you're German. <laughs> anyway. Today we're going to do a little thing called Magical Magic Quarters. We're gonna uh, finish that today. But... Well, maybe not finish, but continue at least. First I wanna see some... Uh, I wanna show you something. Okay, so look at this. Um, we did this scenario last stream, although it's this is a different version of it. So... I was doing some things, and I started experimenting a bit, you know, which involves a few cheats. Okay, so look at the stats. No stat results. Right? You made an actual hotel. I didn't. Uh, the creator did. Um, it doesn't go because it's synchronized only one terrain, so it never goes. 3D cinema. It now goes. But the stats are entirely normal, right? Nothing wrong with that. Now we change it to a suspended swinging coast. No, hang on. Suspended monorail. Did I mess this up? I think I messed this up. Hang on. Let's go to 3D cinema again. And then now we want to go to suspended monorail. Yeah, I think I did it right. Let's see if this works. And now we go back to Steel Wild Mouse. No, it doesn't seem... Or is it because... Oh, there we go. Yeah, it works. Look at the stats. Look at the stats. They're changing. It's... Weird. That's not normal. <laughs> oh, and we failed the park. Hang on, let me reopen the park. Um, the beauty of cheats. Thank you for the eight months, by the way, Ryan. And for the 37 bits, Voodoo. <laughs> and yeah, the sets are ever increasing. And this will go on for a long time. Hang on, let me just see. It should, in theory, I use cheat and you just speed it up a bit more, even. Then this should go. Oh! The intensity just reset. Look at that. With the excitement is still going up. By the way, look at how fast the time is going. Oh, hang on. There are no guests going on it, because we have no ads anymore. Hang on, let me... Okay, that's better. Let me advertise some more. Oh, now the excitement has reset. But the intensity is still going. This is so weird. 
this is obviously just a bug, and you can only do this while messing with um, while messing with things about uh, you know the cheat. So it doesn't really matter. But that report it. Someone is looking into it. Anyway, let's get into magical magic quarters. So, for those of you who haven't seen this park before, we did this on the first live stream. It's a desert. Then we did. Hang on. Uh. We don't need you. Then we did on the second stream. Which is a corkscrew coaster. In a forest. And then we did this kind of on the third stream. And we finished that bit this quarter on the fourth stream. And I think it's absolutely amazing. This is definitely the best scenery work I have ever done. It's not as good as it could be. But, you know, I'm practicing. I'm still getting better. Thank you for the six months. Uh, and the OLL. Oh, and um, don't worry about not being able to sub RJ. It's fine. I don't expect people to sub. It's just nice that they do. Is this for the series on YouTube? No. So, uh, if you look in the bottom right, you can see we've been at it for 12 years. And this has a goal time of four years. I only have until the deadline. Also, thank you for the gifted sub, Mr. Slime. I honestly didn't think about that you would do that, but it, you know, if someone asked me would Slime do that, I would definitely say yes. <laughs> That's such a Slime thing to do. Anyway, today we still have this quarter left. And it definitely needs some sort of lake. Because, well, there's a river going out of it, and, you know, part of a lake. And also there's a river going into it. From this quarter. So, um... I was... Oh, right. Ads. I was gonna check. No, we don't have ads running. Well, let's get them running. I mean, yeah, I can easily force a win, but the win doesn't really matter. <laughs> we lost this scenario. I think we might still not have 300,000 park value. I'm not sure. Let's have a little check. Oh, God, not even half. The park value, I mean, it's been fairly constant. But, yeah. <laughs> We have a very low park value. We don't have bench boy and bench girl. There are mountain boy and mountain girl. And uh, also number two. Because I accidentally exploded the first two. Or the first. And yeah, they're not very happy. Although they do think the park is really clean and tidy. So... No, that's something. Look at that. They have a destination tolerance of two. Whatever that means. Anyway. I need to kill someone. To quench Slime's bloodlust. Is it me or are there many more guests walking this way than the other way? Or is that just... Yeah, I think that's just an illusion. Or I think that was just one particular big group. Oh, thank you for the 15 months, Xag. Why is there a guest all the way up there? Well, why wouldn't there be? 
Okay, now, so now we have to do something for this quarter. And the question is, what? So these are the themes we have. And thank you for the 12 months, MDB. A boat hire. Maybe. We could do space. We could do dinos. We will not do desert because we've already done desert. We could do abstract. You know, I think this is an absolutely wonderful theme. Nothing better than that. You know, do a few this in between. And then, you know, a little bit of this. You know, gotta have a roof over your build. No. This is just me postponing having to actually make a decision and start building. Um, Sci-fi mixed with dinos. So, you want to combine these two. Sure. We need to do it around the lake, though. Like a sci-fi dino jungle. <laughs> Isn't that a bit... <laughs> a sci-fi dino jungle. I mean, what we could do is we could have, like, a sci-fi city, like, somewhere over here. You know, have jungle basically everywhere. And then, you know, have dinos, I don't know, somewhere over there. Something like that. <laughs> Very rough illustration. <laughs> but yeah, that could definitely work. We do need a smaller lake, though. Or, what I'm actually thinking about is just removing the lake and turning it into a river. Well, you know, a small lake here at the end. Because we can't change what's beyond the park borders. Okay, so... The lake is way too big. Like, if you want a jungle, you can't have a lake this big. Then you're not going to have much of a jungle. So the lake definitely needs to be much smaller. Jurassic Park on Mars. Yeah, Jurassic Mars. Jurassic Marcel. Okay, you know, maybe something like this could be a good size for the lake. And then we'll do that. And we'll connect the river up. Where river? Here river. Don't worry about river. River fine. Okay, let's see what we got. That's not the best. But we can change. Okay, this is already a lot better. Can we... Okay, so... Hang on. We don't... Oh, of course, we raised the water there. I'm stupid. I was like, how do I get rid of those corners? But, yeah, that's easy. And like that. And then, you know. The lake be a bit deeper, because lakes be like that. Ah! Um... Have you ever thought of doing a four award challenge? Trying to beat the power, but you missed a four positive award in one month. In the month you passed the scenario. Yeah, my 5,000 guests in one year video is incredibly similar. Basically, it's it, that's not very difficult. It just requires luck. Because you need to randomly get the correct award selected. And you can kind of manipulate it like I did in that video. But... Ultimately, you're just going to have to, you know, 
it's not difficult to qualify for a bunch of awards. The difficult part is, part is just getting enough luck to actually get the awards. And that's, you know... Ultimately, it's just make sure you have spammed a few toilets and whatnot. That doesn't necessarily make for a particularly interesting video. Especially since I kind of already did it. Okay, this is a pretty good lake. I like that. Hello from a hurting mister. What's hurting? Okay, we now have a completely flat area except for a river and half a lake and I suppose this little hill here. And we're going to have to make this interesting. So, what's a jungle themed coaster? We could definitely do something more on the extreme side. Wouldn't half a lake just be a pond? Not necessarily. If you slice Lake Superior in half, I don't think it's a pond. Thank you for the follow, Sacronos. Water coaster. We don't have the water coaster. I think it was well, Cobalt. It's the coaster you see in the jungle most often. That's definitely the hard slime coaster. I think I, I like a, a vertical drop coaster. That's always a good one, isn't it? Should we do this first or the terrain first? Oh, that's unfortunate, Mr. Fedris. It yeah, got well soon. Dog pooped me on the pavement. Your dog? Or someone else's dog? Um, I think I'm gonna build this coaster first. Ours. Well, hopefully it feels shame. I kind of want to keep it on this half, not make it as big as the entire thing. Alright. Um, I'm going to have a little turn. This is going to be the most intense coaster in the park. Hang on, we need a we need a holding brake for drop, definitely. Just noticed notification for platform nine and three quarters. <laughs> Indeed. Um What's the theme of this quadrant? Jungle Dino Sci Fi. Also, name a ride of your choice. Well, what name do you wish for which ride, Aniolo? Oh god, that's gonna be painful, ain't it? Oh, <laughs> we have some abstract pieces underground. <laughs> Whoops. Okay. Time to... Oh snap, I need to... Hang on, I want to not simply... So what if we do this? And then 
you know, we'll have two striped pieces, just so it's not, just so it doesn't go up directly next to it. Please name this coaster Intense Abstraction. Abstraction is a good word, isn't it? Intense Abstraction. That does invite the question, do the guests see, and in that case, how far and wide, and how, and do they see below ground? Well, they definitely detect scenery and stuff, so... I guess they kind of see. Yeah, let's definitely have some of these running. Uh, no minimum waiting time. We don't bother with that here. Okay, and then we go... Yeah, we do that. And then we do a large half loop. Because this is one epic coaster, baby! And then, hang on, what if we just keep this turn going? What would the smelliest scenery piece be? Good question. Maybe a tar pit? How's my favorite streaming streamer doing today? I don't know, you'd have to ask him. Okay, can it make this? That would be epic. Can we... Well, it doesn't matter if it can make it, because we can't go anywhere from there. It also just about can. I don't particularly like that. What if we just keep it going like that? Yeah, this is not a good coaster. It's way too big. It goes way too fast. We need to make it smaller. You know, I generally build big with these kind of coasters, but... That's not always a good idea. Terrain first. Well, I tried to do terrain first with the corkscrew coaster, and that went terribly. So I did it after it, and that went loads better. Okay, so this is already much better. Can you drown a guest with a shirt of any color? Okay, so this guy is clearly not wearing a shirt, so I'll drown them. Spaghetti coaster wasn't big. You mean Mama Luigi spaghetti? That one was definitely massive. How about a drop coaster that drops into a canyon? I did have that kind of idea, although I or I've already done that. On uh, the, the Mel's World Park. I remember hearing somewhere that slow is smooth, smooth is fast. I reckon the similar logic could be applied to building coasters. I'm not sure in which way do you mean that. Oh, I quite like that. It just barely makes it. Oh, you think you were the sub, Sid Norm. I like how it goes under the station here. Is there a way to have lava colored water and light colored water in the same park? Only with custom scenery. Um, yeah, only with custom scenery. Otherwise, it doesn't really work.
Um, okay, this doesn't, we don't really have the space for that. What if I do it like this? We're still... That's weird. I would imagine we would have the right speed for this, but or the right height. Well, then we'll just go down like this. It's getting lengthy again. The length isn't the problem. The problem was that it was way too big. Big and it's in the general scale. Okay, then we can go, you know, down here and then somewhere around there. Something like this. A very mild turn. Then a helix. And it's time for the brakes. There we go. I like this coaster. It's quite a good one. It's still quite bulky, but it's not as massive. You know, it fits in the landscape. And that's good. So let's follow a train. Yeah, I think, you know, Jeremiah said, I agree. I think this is one of the more realistic coasters I've built. You know, it lacks any block sections, which is not realistic. But in terms of other pacing, I think it does fairly well. Although that hump is a bit... Eh. You know, it could definitely still be a lot better, but that's not what I'm going for anyway. All right, there we go. That, it's got to be at least like seven and a half, right? 8.24, nice. I like that, already the highest excitement in the park. Easily. Just look at these coasters. 590, damn, that's bad. And 672, still not great. I think I'll color the coaster later, Hoover, just to see what fits in. Not too vomit inducing either. I mean, it is a vertical drop coaster. Those kind of never really have a high nausea rating. Unless you mess up. Okay, I think green will fit well. And we can go in there like there. And then some kind of path there. We definitely need a path. Okay, what kind of path will we do here? Brown is a bit standard. How about... How about this one? We haven't really used that yet. Time to renew the ads. Good one. Well, only one, which I apparently only did for 11 weeks. For uh, some reason. There we have it. A head chopper piece. The alternate color tiles are back. Oh, they've been back for a while. Now I have a little bridge. Now 
we go. That's a connection, isn't it? And then we'll build another bridge here. And we'll connect it up here. There we go, I think that's a solid path network. I have to say I really liked your last video, well thank you. You know, for a Marcel Place RCT video, it's doing rather well. I'm quite happy with that. And that one. And lastly, that one. Also, um, I'm probably not going to stream Terraria again. Because, as you may know, I, you know, I've streamed Terraria for quite a bit. Over quite a bit, for two streams. Um, now, I've played Terraria a lot. And I think it's better as just me playing it instead of on stream. It doesn't really work, you know, with the fact that I'm not that good at it. So no more Terraria on the stream. I think the main thing that's really good about it is that you did not use any sort of cheaty type of coaster. I mean, yeah, that was the point, but that's also, like, that's not what I'm going to do anymore. Unless maybe, you know, I might have, like, you know, in the I had two corkscrews. Um... Or I had two shuttle loops. I might have two corks, you know, two micro corks in a park like that, dueling or synchronized. But that would be about all. Okay, maybe I should have done like the coaster before the landscape is fine, but. I need to remove the path, as I definitely need to do <laughs> mountains, hills before the path. Kind of forgot about that. So, uh, this is quite crowded here already. But yeah, y'all have to go. See ya. Oh, thank you for the gifted sub, Sitnorm. And thank you for the follow. And Gvins. Are they all gone? Almost. I got a few keep going on. The okay, now it's raining, so they'll definitely go. How are there still a few guests on here? Like. How long do they do they stay in this bit? Do they just they just keep going on the ride? They just keep going on the ride forever. <laughs> I could just close the ride, but this is funny. Like I can't see how often they've been on this ride, but I mean, he's been on 46 rides and only been on seven different ones. Drown <laughs> those fools. Now, I'm gonna spare their lives. Alright, there we go. And that's the lot. Yeah, you go as well. Now, there's only staff, but staff, I don't care about. Staff. Can die. Also, by the way, my face kind of kind of hurts because I sunburned it. <laughs> Yesterday, I was out and about with a friend in the city. Um, we had lunch at some kind of Vietnamese place. It was very nice. But we sat on a bench 
for a while. Uh, like one, one and a half hours, something like that. In the full sunlight. It's not bad. But it's not exactly pleasant. Okay, and then I'll be down here. Increased risk of cancer. But on the other side, also better mental health. Um, walked a lot. So better physical health. Not like I go outside much anyway. With some sunscreen, you can have both. Fair enough, but I'm not intelligent to think about sunscreen. I mean, who do you think I am? Einstein? I'm no Einstein. It is funny though, because, you know, I get comments every now and then, like, Marcel should be, you know, could be curing cancer, but instead he's doing, I don't know, whatever this is. You yeah, know, whatever mathematical analysis I've done in a video. Like, I know they're not exactly serious, but <laughs> the stuff I do is not exactly complicated. <laughs> I'm not doing any kind of world-class math out there or anything. Just a bit of, you know, maybe some probability, just some big numbers multiplied. There's nothing more to it. What do you think of going outside? <laughs> Shun the sun. I quite like going outside, but... I have trouble getting myself to do it if I don't have a specific reason to. You know, if I'm meeting up with a friend or, you know, have to be somewhere or whatever, it's perfectly fine. But just me and going for a walk or something like that, that doesn't work as well. And I wish that would work better, but that's hard. Same goes with me and doing pretty much anything, to be honest. It's kind of a miracle that I have managed to keep a consistent weekly upload schedule for two years. At this point. Add some water around the coaster. We can definitely add some water, but we shouldn't do too much. Yeah, we can add a little lake there. There we go. What happens outside? Well, most of the world happens outside. Believe it or not. Okay, I think these are good enough hill. You know, I think I'm just gonna forget the sci-fi and just make a jungle die now. I think that's a better idea. Um... Is this... Good for that. Yeah, that looks better. Okay, time to build some path again. Um, we can do that.
What part of the Netherlands are you from? The accent sounds familiar. That makes me wonder, are there, like, is it possible to, like, accurately tell the difference between, like, a Brabant Dutch accent in English and a Frisian Dutch accent in English? I am from Drenthe, by the way. Wonderful province. Soft or hard, G? You have it in English. Like, that should disappear in English, right? But yeah, in Dutch, I definitely have a harsh, a, a harde G, which Slime absolutely hates. <laughs> don't you dare. I mean, if I actually just talk Dutch, I don't really have much of a choice, because that's just how I speak. Like, I can't say something like... Uh, Grachtengordel. I just say Grachtengordel. That just, that's just how I speak. So, unfortunately, you will have to suffer. Or, fortunately, depending on how masochistic you are. You just happen to speak the correct way and there's no shame in that. Indeed, my way is the correct way. Hell yeah. Drown a sunburned guest to baptize the new lackey. Let's see. Her face looks pretty sunburned. There we go. Scream, girl, scream! And you're dead. Well, that sounds weird, taken out of context. Pop the balloon, there we go. People from the north have a hard G, people from the south have a hard L. Yeah, but it's not about that, it's about... The size of your L. And connect it. There we go. Open up. And now we have a much better path. Okay, how about we make something here? I was thinking this kind of roof. Pointy roofs are my absolute god to make this umber. And we'll put a pole here. Where's the, my where's my pole? There's the pole. It's that's janky. <laughs> that's very janky. Hang on, we can do better. If I just do. No, oh, no, I just, uh, ah, ah, oh, I just wanna, there we go. Why, hang on, I'm, oh, I was pressing, I thought I was pressing control, but I was actually pressing shift. Well, that made sense. Okay, this looks a lot better, doesn't it? We need some supports below it, though.
Hang on, didn't we have... Yeah, we lost tons of guests. <laughs> what happened? We were advertising. What happened to all those guests? We had almost 4k. Scenery is something I'd outsource to an AI powered plugin. Well, I won't. Because I'm good enough at scenery to do it myself. Um, what if we just do this? And then have those kind of walls around it. Oh, that looks decent. How many days did you speed through while you were waiting for the guests to be gone from the path? Oh yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, we might have lost some guests there. Hang on, how long did he... Well, only a few months we didn't advertise for. Hang on, did I manage to do it twice in a row that I only... Look at this, this is 8,950. If you do all ads for 12 weeks, it's 9k. So, I managed to do t two times in a row, one ad accidentally for only 11 weeks. Which is... Old. Okay, now it's time for a dino jungle. Let's first do this half. And then, you know, we could do, I don't know, a fat right here or something. So, it's time for... Jungle trees. Well, it's time first for dinos. Hello and welcome to our jungle. I am Mr. Dino. Hey, I am also a dino. I will kill you. Can we make like a scene of T Rexes like uh, surrounding? One of these fellas. Haha, <laughs> you will die. Amazing dino impressions. I know, right? I know exactly how they speak. Okay, we can get rid of those support by doing something like that. We'll get rid of those in time. Or why not just do that? Is it just the color of the parts or a gentle blend parts a bit overcrowded in some places? Uh, a bit. It's, it feels like it's the most popular section of the park. Then again, it's also the best section of the park. So that makes total sense. It's so much better than the desert bit. It also has the most redes in the park. That's true. Are the signs you place to kick them out still do not enter? Yes. <laughs> they could only enter through one part. <laughs> and that was this. <laughs> I completely forgot about that. <laughs> also, holy crap, that ride is popular. If we look at this. Heading through intense striking, 135. That's not even that many. 155. No, right now, 142. Dang. By the way, look at how many. This thing is getting casually like 10k guests an hour. It's had 130,000. Well, that's a hell of a lag spike.
Uh, remind me, 2050 or 850, that's when this lag spike occurred. Because I want to send that to one of the devs. Because he asked for this kind of lag spike proof thingies. Um, can you make a nice path trap somewhere? So as a clip, well, I'll make the clip myself. Um, but just remind me to do, do that after the stream. Well, don't remind me to do it. Just, if, you know, uh, make sure to remember that it's 8.50. So that if I ask, I'll know. Or you'll know. Anyway. Let's get some... Theming going on. Hi everyone, sorry I'm late. Welcome, Sabrina. I will have to give you a tardy, though. And if you're late again, you will have to do limes. Unfortunately. Is a tardy actually a thing in America? Because I only heard it in some American cartoon. If kids were late, they would get a tardy. I don't know if that's actually a thing. Okay, now, well, I mean, that it's a thing makes sense, because, you know, we had that too, but just the word Atari. I could also give you the clip I just made. It's probably too big to send over Discord. If it isn't, do send it, please. It needs to be under 25 megabytes. I once had to... I mean, here at my school we called it, you know, briefje halen, which translates to um, getting a note. Uh, so if you were late, you would be sent to, to the office and you would need to get a note, go back to the class, give that to your teacher. And then technically you would have to be at school at 10 to 8 the next day. Which is 25 minutes before classes start. Yeah, I'm, I can just make the clip myself cringe. That's much easier. Thanks for the effort, though. Um, can we... <laughs> we gotta put a dinosaur in between there. Yeah, why not? You can almost eat the guests. Okay, and here we're gonna have a battle. The green one has the high ground. Make the dinosaurs kiss. Yeah, you can do that. But that's not... Oh. Hmm. They're not all... They're, they're almost kissing, but... Hang on, this is odd. Why does it look like the one behind is much lower? But now the one on the other side seems to be much lower. But if you're looking from this angle, or the 180 degree one, it looks fine. That's odd. Perspective weirdness. Well, a very weird perspective weirdness. 
But yeah, that's not exactly the prettiest thing. Also, thank you for the 100 bits, Sitnor. Add some robot and recreate Pacific Rim. I have no idea what Pacific Rim is. Different Pung. Yeah, I suppose it is a different Pung. I mean, you can see... So, from one side, it's lower than from another side. That's interesting. A track architecture rainbow over the mountain. You can't really do that without using zero clearance, though. Well, depending on how you're going to make your rainbow. Okay, I think this is a fine amount of dinos for now. Finos. So let's do some trees. Pacific Rim is only the best Western mecha versus kaiju. What's a kaiju? Kaiju is great beast. Ah. Oh, is a Godzilla a kaiju? Drown someone with an orange balloon. What is it with this park and people drowning guests that have some relation to a specific color? Be it their shirt, their balloon, their face. This is the Jurassic Park quarter. Basically... Hang on, let me turn on the light. There we go. That is better. Are you going to make any other right in this quarter? Definitely. We still have this bit left. Rocks would look nice. And that's a good point. Hang on, I can make a rock. Hang on. Um, we just do this. There we go. We have a rock. Aren't I funny? <laughs> I'm hilarious. Oh, no! Crap. Still had the landscaping tool on. <laughs> How do you ban the streamer? Uh, you know, just stop watching. <laughs> That's kind of how you ban me from your life. In case you wanted to do that. Let's see what this looks like as a rock. I mean, that's a terrible rock. Needs to be bigger. Still not sure if I'm happy with this. Does it look better if I... Yeah, that definitely looks better. Doesn't banning only prevent people from chatting and subbing? I think so, yeah. 
Thank you for the follow up, Buford. Did you pick your name after the Dis or the, the, the Finny isn't Ferb character? Because Finny isn't Ferb is cool as hell. Well, I don't know about you, but this rock is pretty damn ugly. I think it's time to remove it. And redo the landscape here. I could do some rocky areas, but definitely not big rocks like that. You know, we could just color this rocky. The whole ground needs to repaint anyway. You kind of liked it? Well, I kind of don't like it. Okay, you know what? Let's just start with... A coating of... Let's make sure I have the landscaping off. Right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then. Luckily, this is easy to fix. There we go. It's not the exact same, but uh, close enough. <laughs> All right, now we have the landscaping off. Which is much better. This is going to be a very similar landscape. Um, maybe we should do it slightly more rocky. Compared to this one. Yeah, I think we should do it more dirty and more rocky. So that it's not that similar. Is a lot of dithering. That's what it's called. And then you do this one again. And pretty soon you'll have it pretty dithered up. Do you have the yellow bamboo ones? I do. But I quite like these. Okay, let's renew the ads. I want to read 4,000 guests on one ban that spammer. Thank you. That's the first spammer I've seen in a while. I got a long... Maybe the first one of 2023? Like, what's even the point of buying followers? It's not like any of them are actually gonna watch my stream. Like, I don't get it. Uh, you know, apparently people do buy followers, because otherwise, you know, they wouldn't still be doing that. If you want to become partner, yeah, you know, if it ever, if you don't have enough, you know, if you don't have enough followers, 
and viewers to become partner on your own, then you're probably not going to make much money anyway. It's like... Um, there's people on the subreddits asking, you know, to get them to watch the videos, get to 4,000 watch hours or 1,000 subs so they can monetize on YouTube. I'm like... If you have, like, a thousand subs, you're not going to make much money anyway. Like, sure, there might be an exception here or there if you immediately get, like, a viral video or whatever. But in 99.9% .9 of the cases, you're going to maybe make a hundred bucks a month at that point. The other sticks could different, help differentiate the different looking landscapes. I mean, at this point, we already have different looking paths anyway. It's already starting to look different. But they're both going to be foresty anyway, so... They're going to be similar. Which is fine. Thank you for the follow. Wina, Doran, and Kazeun. Oh yeah, yeah, if Twitch finds out, finds out, you're screwed. That too. Okay, let's add at least one more ride. Preferably one we don't have yet. Um, we do have a Maze, too, even. Oh, we don't have a Rutto Drop yet. I like a Rutto Drop. I want it more sort of in the middle. So I'm gonna... Kinda loop this path around. I have this go like that. And then... I'll do a few of these. Like that. Perfect. I blocked off that bit. How did you still end up on the grass? You stupid, stupid, stupid. Idiot. How do rotor drops make you think of donuts? I suppose the rotor drop vehicle is kind of a donut. You blocked off the wrong side of the path. Did I? Am I stupid? I mean, we both know the answer to that is yes. There. Put that there. There we go. Very nice. I'll worry about colors later. By the way, in my video, uh, my last video about the uh, Evergreen Gardens playthrough. There is one coaster that I accidentally built. <laughs> one mine train coaster where I accidentally immediately at the top of a spiral built a, built a, a, a banked turn. Which is completely unnecessary and looks weird, but I don't know. I only noticed it in the edit. <laughs> Three top choppers. Three chop 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 choppers what? You mean ba 
<laughs> Just place this here casually. <laughs> name the roto drop. Dr name the name the God. I can't speak today. Name the roto drop. The chick, chick. The what? The chick who love impactor. Okay. What the hell is a chick sulub? Chick sulub. In fact, a dino crater. Ah. Oh, the meteor that killed the dinos. All the way back in 65 million BC. That makes sense. I think the landscape should be even more rocky. Now maybe these areas can be connected. Something like that. Just to, you know, differentiate it as well. I don't know, I'm just trying stuff out. I had no idea that I was already pre-built with that exact name. I just meant building a mini helicopter that goes through the jungle. Well, they had the same idea. Although it's more like miniature uh, thingamajings. Uh, trees. Don't you remember like it was yesterday? Definitely. It was me that made the meteor. I was actually the meteor was actually just me taking a massive dump. Also, we don't. Yeah, we do. Uh, never mind. I was about to say we don't have mini helicopters. Obviously, we do. Might add those in later. Now it's time to make this properly jungly. So on the rocks we should have less trees and more bushes. Can the helicopter go through a looping? No. Well, yes, but not in this case. Because this looping is already occupied. And this looping is too tall. Other than that, yes, perfectly fine. Why delete that magnificent quote? Probably because he. Oh, there we go. Yeah, uh, probably because he made some. Oh, Kerry was first. I didn't even notice. Kerry is definitely quicker than Max on average. You gotta step up your game, Max. You gotta finish quicker. You typed more. That's just a lame excuse. <laughs> you banned the bot guy. Yeah, that's true. That's very true. You were quick on the ding there. I remember, I was, um, 
But that was a mod on a little website called PokemonShowdown.com. It was a mod in one of the chat rooms. And... There were quite a lot of spammers. Quite a lot. And we definitely had a competition, like, to see who could ban the spammer first. Like, who would be the quickest. And very often, you know, you had second, hour, minute, second timestamps on all the messages. Including the bans. You know what, I'm gonna be a bit lazy. I can always touch it up later. And often, uh, you know, when someone spammed, they were banned in like four seconds. Uh, or well, muted first usually. Ban was only a first time punishment for really bad offenders. Drink some water. Good idea. You all should do the same. Ah, nice. But it sometimes also happened that we would ban the wrong person. Because how that worked is, for example, if I wanted to ban Max, then I would probably type slash M. Well, that's mute, not ban. But if I want to mute Max, it would be slash M. And then I would type M A. And then tab and enter and that would mute max unless after max had typed his last message someone else that start that had the name that starts with ma had typed a new message so if i would before that also type a message i would be muted instead because tab just out auto fills the name with whatever the most recent person is that fits the letters you've already typed. So yeah, sometimes the wrong people did get muted, but that's fine because you just unmute them. I did not do this this push yet. Do it. That's it. That's not how Twitch works. That's how Pokemon Showdown worked. Well, I haven't been mod for like five years. Because I resigned. I had to eat cereal for dinner because I forgot to buy ingredients for dinner and Sunday and the shops are closed. Shops are closed on Sunday? Do you live in Stophorst or something? That's a joke for the Dutch people. But seriously, I don't know any place where the shops are closed on Sunday. At least not anymore. Used to happen a lot. One of those. Alright, let's add a few flowers. Almost every shop in Germany was closed on Sunday. In Austria, a couple of tourist shops were open while I was there on the Sunday. Really? Is that a German thing? Or, and Austrian, I suppose. In the Netherlands, that's no longer a thing. Of course, Sunday is the day that 
the lowest amount of shops are open. You know, it's still, you know, generally a rest day. But, you know, supermarkets are generally open on Sunday here nowadays. I wonder if the train is maxed out with scenery happiness. Definitely. Oh, the train. Also definitely. I was thinking of the vertical drop, but the train, yeah, definitely too. Nah, not pink. Oh, that's a good purple. I like lots of these flowers because they give lots of color. And that's definitely something that this bit doesn't have. Not everything's maxed out. The maze might not be, for example. The only place open past four on a Sunday where I live is the corner shop near me. What exactly is a corner shop? I believe a corner shop is just something that's like a very small grocery store. Because we don't have a direct translation for that in Dutch. Because that's just a grocery store. Buurtwinkel. I've never heard of a buurtwinkel. Wouldn't it just be a grocery store? Okay, I'm missing a yellow one here. I mean, yeah, I knew it was a small convenience store, but like, we don't really have the concept one on one here. So I find that interesting. Think of those Turkish kind of stores that sell veggies and some other products. I don't know what they are. Um, because you know. In the Netherlands, towns will just have a grocery store. As far, for example, the town I grew up in, Ruine, as far as I know, just had a grocery store. And I didn't know there was any other place you could get food there. Or, but, you know, your, your classic grocery foods. We have corner store all over the place. Just at the top of my head, I can think of five nearby. I can't. I can think of zero. Like, I know where the general, you know, supermarkets are. But I would have no idea where corner stores are. This is a city, so the grocery store will be further than you'd want to go to just grab a, grab a Coke or ice cream. This is the Netherlands, so that doesn't apply here. <laughs> I have never lived more than a five minute walk away from a supermarket. Except for two months. Corner shops are usually tiny. They can even um, be a converted house on the end of a row of highs. Sell the essential food items and toiletries and surprisingly random stuff too. 
I mean, it sounds just like an overtime to go, but that's not really a corner store here. You see those mostly on, like, uh, train stations or university campuses, those kind of places. Hey, you think it would have gifted subs, Oni Coyote? Also, I had a drink some water five minutes ago. I didn't know if I already did that one. But let's do it anyway. Ah, nice. All right, um, drown 1986. Is that your birth year? Wait, no, that's staff. Ooh, lots of guests are complaining about it being too crowded. Oh, before we do that, let's renew the ads. But I legitimately didn't know we had, like, I knew obviously we had some corner stores in the Netherlands, but I knew, I didn't know they were apparently everywhere according to Max. Maybe I just don't pay any attention to them. Okay, nine, well, we definitely don't have 1986 anymore. The number goes up fast. We only have eight under 2,000. We don't, we only have like 150 or so under 10,000. Looking at Groningen on Google Earth, I don't see any thus far. Maybe they, there are, maybe there just aren't any in the north. <laughs> Anything close. There's literally... Well, 1953. Close enough. Oh, you said 10,011. Alright. Fair enough. Let's do 10,111. Oh, I don't mind drowning two people for the price of one. Must be an Amsterdam-only thing. There aren't any in the south either. I mean, that makes sense with Max saying, like, the Turkish thing. Because a lot of that, those kind of shops, you may find in Amsterdam, Rotterdam, The Hague. And then maybe in the entire north of the Netherlands, there might be one of them. Because Amsterdam is a lot more diverse than the rest of the Netherlands. So that's interesting. Cities are more diverse than the countryside. Who'd have thought? I live in a city though. Like I live in a city of 200k. It's not a massive city. But it's a city. Okay, you know what? Let's do this again. Just to add a few bushes. I'm going to remove the ones on the water. Because that's ugly. There's loads of different things here in the jungle. And I'm going to add, you know, a few more specific things. Neat little details. I think this section needs a boat ride. Yeah, I definitely can use one. But so far, it looks nice. Let's first color these rides, though. I sent you a street view link that shows a thing in Amsterdam that I know. Holy crap, I have 12 messages from a friend. Um, let's see.
De Waarmondstraat en de Hillegomstraat in de Hoofddorpijnbuurt. Oh ja, yeah, like that. Yeah, I haven't really seen that here. 5k it. I was literally about to do that, but this is Google Maps, not GeoGuessr. It doesn't work like that. Like, I can see where we are here. <laughs> so, unfortunately, that doesn't work. Just do it. Well, I've already done it. I can see it. But, yeah. There's kind of corner shops we don't have here. Because, for example, where I live... Uh, well, no, I'm not going to zoom in on that. Hang on. I was about to, but then I realized, no, that will show exactly where I live. I'm not going to do that. Because that's not in incognito mode. <laughs> in incognito mode, it's fine. Not in incognito mode. It'll show a dot exactly where I am. Like, I'll, I'll just quickly start it up. Because, uh, I, I, you know, I've messed about on Google Maps on stream before, but that's because ahead of time I just, you know, did incognito mode. So, let's take a look. This is incognito. And if, for example, we'll just have lots of... I don't know, normal shops. Like that one. The Albert Heijn. And, you know, loads more. For example... Uh, it's somewhere here. Alright. Well, somewhere here, there's another Albert Heijn. Anyway, there are loads of just... Yeah, we don't really have the corner... The corner stores that you talked about, which is interesting. Corner shop doesn't have to be on the corner. Now, obviously... I mean, we might have a few, but... I don't know of any. Um, okay, where were we? Right, we were at junglifying. Oh no, we were at recoloring this ride. There we go. <laughs> Marshal Voss Park looking great. Are you sure about that? Are you sure, Danny girl? Yeah, the funny thing is the whole thing with, you know, the massive supermarkets. For example, let me hang on. Um, let me show one more thing. Um, here. In Beile. This residential area has a supermarket. But it's not a corner store. It's just... A supermarket. A boys. And, you know, people live all around it. But we don't need a corner store here, because there's just a supermarket. Never heard of boys. It's only really a thing in the north, as far as I know. We sort of have both at the same time. Yeah, but Amsterdam is weird. Okay, how about we do Umber? I really like the new color Umber. Although it does sound a bit like Umbridge. Which is not so good. Why does it look like the store comes from the 80s? I don't know. I noticed that your automatic doors over there in Europe open way later than our doors. 
Well, there is one door, the supermarket I go to, that opens way too... Well, not, it opens fine on time, but after it's opened a bit, it suddenly starts opening further very slowly. And more than once, I've actually hit my left shoulder on the door. And it's usually painful. And not the good kind of painful. Oh, I like this. I quite like this. The USA doesn't have many corner stores either anymore. It's most of these trip malls. Yeah, the USA is now, you know, you get in your um, Ford F-250 pickup truck. Then you drive to the massive uh, Walmart on the outside of town, hitting 20 cyclists on your way there. An hour later, you're finally there. Then you walk 10 miles across the massive parking lot. And um, then, you know, you go into a massive warehouse. You buy 30 pots of mayonnaise. And then you go back. <laughs> Marcel's lighting to nuts shall be people shouting upon beard scratching sounds. Well, this is mostly head scratching at the moment. I don't know, head's a bit itchy today. I don't know why. I mean, this is beard. <laughs> really need 30 pots of mayonnaise for. Loop. Now, it is a thing that's... I don't know if it's necessarily American, but it's definitely more in America than the Netherlands, but might also be other countries. I don't know. Um, that you buy groceries in much larger quantities than we generally do in the Netherlands. Because corners are so... Uh, uh, shops are so close by and small. You, you, know, you often go much more frequently. So you buy smaller quantities. I buy a lot of bulk at Sam's Club. That's what I mean. People rarely buy bulk here. You know, maybe a few items, but... I would never think to buy more than one pot of peanut butter or mayonnaise or, you know, more than one carton of rice. Unless there was a specific deal for, like, you know, second half off or whatever. But otherwise... Like, why would I? Obviously, if you still use it all, it's fine to buy in bulk, but... In general, there tends to be a lot more waste when people buy in bulk. But the reason people buy in bulk is because shopping in America... Not all places, but a lot of places, is as I described. You you know, you drive your, your car somewhere 30 minutes. And it's a whole ordeal. While at the same time, if I wanted to buy a pot of apple uh, sauce right now... If I would hurry a bit, I could be back within 10 minutes. Because there's grocery stores everywhere. Bulk is cheaper per unit. It isn't here. If, if I buy... 10 pots of mayonnaise or one, unless there's a specific deal going on on mayonnaise, it's all, you know, it will be the same price regardless per pot. I have to go to the store tomorrow because my cat opened the fridge to steal my beef and left it open all night so everything's spoiled. That's unfortunate. Jungle entrance. Oh, of course. I forgot. 
and you know I have to go to the store tomorrow that's also much less of a thing here because you know I, I, I go to the store like five or six days a week anyway I feel like this should still be denser There we go, now it's denser. I think I've definitely done at least an okay job differentiating. Oh, we still need dinos here. Differentiating these two quarters. They're definitely the most similar, but they're definitely different. So, I didn't see the second spammer. I definitely saw this third one. Oh, we need bones. I forgot about bones. But there's a lot of spammers today. Okay, bones. Let's put in some bones, baby. I'm sure one thing you could do is stick dog hype into auto mod. Um... Can mods do that, or can only I do that? I barely know how modding works on Twitch. It's funny, you know, because I'm a streamer, but I'm not a... S you know, a lot of streamers know how everything works, and, you know, they set up the perks very carefully, and, you know, if you do this, you get that and that and that. I'm not so much of that. I just stream you know both approaches are fine I just can't be bothered <laughs> with all the fancy stuff because I just want to have a fun time The latest family has been following me since February 2021. Maybe it was just someone who copied Max's message for fun. If he had copied Max's message. Maybe we should give that guy another chance. I don't know. What do you guys think? I don't know if it was on purpose or, or, you know, if that was meant as a joke or not. It was their first message. Okay, then it was most likely not a joke. There are some cars being loud outside. And I don't like it. Why aren't there any bones here? If they're still watching, they can just do unban request. Fair enough. Please don't joke with those messages I ban first, ask questions later. Good luck. 
<laughs> oh, I missed that six minutes ago. Drawing a happy guest. Well, let's see. You seem hap not happy enough. Also not happy enough. <laughs> what is... <laughs> also not happy enough. That... Where are the... Beaming go There we go. You will die. Thank you for the follow. Special delivery. Harry 41 and Mantis Topogan 11. Why did it go on road down? <laughs> this far great thing go down if you drown entertainers. Hang on. Look at this. Look at the discoloration of the coaster in the rain. It's half black, or is it like a, it's a dark green? Look at that. I've never seen that before. Is this a uh, this is a new co- No, it's not. It's just Bordeaux Res. Thought it was maroon for a second, but no. Oh, wait, never mind. It is maroon. It is a new color. They didn't do a great job on that. The other colors look fine. But maroon is broken in the rain. Well, I'm gonna report that. In the meantime, I feel like we could use more bushes along the wall. And they definitely could use more bushes there. And we're gonna give you up.com. Is that an actual website that just rig rolls you? You know what I find very funny? There was a Fine Brothers YouTubers React video from like 2013 where they rig rolled the YouTubers. And a few, quite a few of them were like, is this still a thing? They said like 2007 called, it wants it, its meme back. But rickrolling is still a thing. People still do it 10 years after that. Hey, we had 4k guests. Nice. It's not a real domain. Oh, that's unfortunate. I would have definitely expected. I mean, there might be maybe rigroll.com or whatever, if that wasn't already taken. Who knows? Okay, I should add maybe one or two. Oh my god, that's an ugly color combination. Look at that. That's even uglier than insert joke here I do remember the Iceland park you made lava color dingier bob coaster with the lava watercolors and it also looked weird in the rain okay but that was like an original thing and lots of things look weird when you have different watercolors let's see how things look um if we And they will custom. Oh, there we go. So. This is always fun. You can have acid green water. That's just very bright. But also, the fountains are obviously then just acid green. 
And some other things might also be affected. Like if they use that watercolor. <laughs> this is just Mountain Dew colored. Um, black tile palette. So it's definitely different from natural water. Just look at this now purple. Oh yeah, it's definitely different. Tired on with three letters. I was, but later. It's definitely it, it definitely had a this purple is definitely Oh. These don't exist. Well they're all void. I think I had dark purple? What else do we have? Um, blue grass. <laughs> Look at that. I think Dirk Link made this one. For a specific park or something like that. It's not quite inverted, but it's got something like that. Oh my god, the desert looks hideous. Like, the jungle sort of kind of works because a lot of colors are changed, but... Well, it, it doesn't work when there are unchanged colors mixed with changed colors. Which is kind of everywhere in this park. Bluish hipster filter. Yeah, this is definitely blue. Hydrate! Let's hydrate. That's some good hydration. It's definitely, yeah, just slightly different. M yeah, I would maybe just think I have a bit of too harsh of a blue filter on my computer if I saw this or something. Dirk Link Space Bloom. Oh my god! Wow. There's one color that's... Well, actually a lot has changed. But there's a lot of pink! <laughs> the research is purple now! The Earthling Space Palette. Ooh. That's... That's like a missing color. What happened? <laughs> it's all the greens again. Yeah, these look broken. Realistic dark palette. Well, this definitely looks good. Yeah, it's a bit darker. I know that, for example, Brian Andrelzik uses a darker palette. Um. Ooh, look at this water. Definitely darker. Could it be that they are broken because of the changes in color with the new palette? I don't think that should affect it. It's not like they added more colors to RCT. I believe. I believe they just have more selectable colors in the color selecting menu. Because obviously Rollercoaster Tycoon has more than 32 colors. I mean, this is one color, but you can see multiple shades of red here. Because of lighting and stuff. Yeah, you have one, two, three shades of red. So I think they just kind of use that way to get more colors. Not actually add it more colors. What are your favorite metal bands? Nightwish and Winter Sun. 
Okay, let's try the next one. Apple seed timber. Oh, look at that. You can see a few colors changing. Mainly, for example, that stuff. The car ride. Baby metal. I don't listen to it too much, but... A bit. Oh, fantasy yellow grass. This forest looks good. That works well. Even the green and brown of the corkscrew works quite well. The jungle a bit less. This is just ugly. <laughs> and the desert works all right, but it's not changed that much. Look at the buttons at the top, though. They're a trip. Gloomy. Yeah, that's just dark. Look at this. It's purple now instead of... Instead of dark red. Still looks good. Green water, okay, that's boring. That's just, you know, standard green water. Mekong palette B. Hang on, what's the difference? I don't see anything change when I... Okay, we're currently on Mekong palette B. What's different? Oh, these are different. The saturated greens. I don't see any real difference, though. Okay, Norse... Pa oh! That's definitely different. Quite like this. I like this very much. Looks good. It's a bit... It's kind of a bit, a bit washed out. Look, this should be green, but it's kind of blue-gray. Orange water, we've all seen that before. That's just lava, you know. Palette of the dead. There's nothing different about this, except for one thing. Skin is gray. <laughs> And obviously, it's not just skin, but anything that's skin colored, like these gray bricks. Or this, like, brown uh, terrain piece. Yeah, it's not my favorite. Ah, Max's favorite. P. Because we are all mature adults here. Pretty sure, you know. What did you actually change? Ah, you used a few greens. There are way too many greens anyway. So everyone always uses the greens. It's just lemonade. Sure. Pink water. We've seen that before. Poo. Hey, same as pee but brown. Roman palette. Well, that's definitely different. Oh my god, do I see salmon pink in the middle? He has golden teeth! <laughs> Ooh, this is definitely... A, a vibe. That's definitely a vibe. I'm not particularly... I mean, I just like the vibrant original colors. SV Funky Water. Well, that is definitely Funky Water. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. Incredibly funky. Ah. The best color scheme of all. <laughs> 
Just look at this. It's ridiculous. <laughs> Just looks like I slapped a heavy sepia filter on top of it. It's ridiculous. <laughs> it's Mexico in Breaking Bad. <laughs> nice. You know, this doesn't look that bad. Because you're kind of seeing through it, because it's not, you kind of don't see it as the colors are changed, but as it's just a heavy filter on top of it. So you can kind of see through it. Obviously, it's still ugly, but it's not as bad as some of the hideous color combinations. According to your current poll, the audience is not mature. I mean, I never expected anything else. Snow pellet 2. I don't... I mean, I can see the difference, for example, in this queue line, but I don't know if I would have noticed much difference. Yeah, this looks very similar. I think only the watercolors are changed here. You probably need snow for this one. Good point. Let's see how it changes if we go back to... Oh, yeah. Look at that. It becomes much whiter. Which makes sense, because this snow... Wait, no, not that one. Uh, this snow is... Kind of blue. Which doesn't really make a lot of sense, if you think about it. Okay, we got Wutterclub Roy. Oh. This definitely feels like you, you're you wearing some kind of, like, orange glasses or whatever. I'm not particularly a fan of it. And the last one... Churl... Oh my god. Uh, any epilepsy people... Uh, be careful. <laughs> Damn. Well, that's well done. Swim in it. You will drown in disco. <laughs> drown another one. Even more fun. Even more death. Well, let's go to natural water. And we're back, baby. Look at the fountains. Oh, did I miss the fountains? Oh, whoops. Let's have a look. Oh, damn. That's golden. Golden funkiness. Did the ladybug crash or something? Well, definitely didn't crash, but let's have a little look. Oh, it was still two bucks. There we go, now they're going on it in droves. Oh, same goes for the corkscrew. Why were already all these rides still two bucks? You know, Roller Coaster Tycoon 1 has a fantastic little feature. I need profit per hour. Um, or customers per hour. Rollercoaster Tycoon 1 has a fantastic feature that if you if you're you can charge for both and your entrance is not free, then the rides that you place will automatically be free. 
But if your entrance is free, your right will have their default cost. So 150 for a spiral slide, 50 cents for a space rings, 2 bucks for a coaster. Stuff like that. I don't have epilepsy, but I really appreciate the warnings you have. I notice a lot of creators don't give warnings and it concerns me a lot. You know, anything I can do to, you know, keep people out of trouble. Actually, you may have, well, you probably haven't noticed, but for years now, I have had this off. Disable lightning effect. There's no lightning in any of my parks. There's thunder, but there's no lightning because... Years ago, you know, when well, I think one of my first streams I ever did, even before I came to Twitch, someone said that does lightning weren't particularly great for people with epilepsy. And I was like, well, you know, they're not really that necessary anyway for gameplay. I might as well turn them off. I did. And I, I don't particularly miss them. Although, I had them, you know, I played RCT1 for a specific challenge. And they were... I had them there, of course. And, yeah, they were, especially since I had sped the game up, they were quite violent. Okay, are there, I think we could add a few of these fences that would look nice. Thunderbolt and lightning, very, very frightening me. Galileo, Galileo. Galileo Figaro. I am the best singer. I was a massive Queen fan back in like 2014, 2015. I still like Queen, I listen to the music a fair bit, but back then I was an absolutely massive Queen fan. Listen to pretty much only Queen songs. At some point at some point I could probably Name the title of 99% of all Queen songs by just hearing like the first 10 seconds. Even the, the, the obscure deep cuts from albums like You and I. Or Dreamer's Ball. I can't do that anymore, but I can still name an above average number of songs. Okay, as last thing, maybe we could indeed do a boat hire. A hot buyer. And then we'll do like that, 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 that. And we'll go like that, 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 that. And we'll open it. What else do we have? Well, like canoes. 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 I'm more jungly. Canoes. Can we ma Oh, this is way too tall. Thought I could maybe make some ni nice roof thingy majing, but no. That doesn't particularly work very well. Um, then I think this will be fine. I don't see how I could easily decorate this. Because as we saw, we can't just put one of these on the corners because then you have like ugly things. Do you ever build a track for the boat hire? Did you watch my latest video? I built two tracks for two boat hires there. 
Because these guests will undoubtedly let, get let, the uh, these guests will undoubtedly undoubtedly get lost at some point and they'll get pissed because they can't find the exit. Let's fast forward a bit. They're just rowing about there. Let's renew the ads. And at some point they'll be complaining that they want off the right. But they're too stupid with their tiny little brains to find the exit. Do they already want to get off? Not yet. Okay, well, these guys will find the exit. There we go. I mean, maybe this one isn't too bad. Uh, they seem to be finding the exit fairly nicely. But, if I did something like, you know, block that side, then it might already be more difficult. And if I, you know, only had this as a little passage here where the boat is, then it would definitely be much more difficult. Might be cool to completely rewrite the pathing algorithm for boat hire boat. Yeah, let me just casually do that. No big deal. Did OpenRCT ever improve both pa both path finding? I don't know. I don't. I would say no, but I wouldn't be sure. All right, I think. That pretty much is Magical Magic Quarters. Just, uh... There is the park. I mean, there is one quarter that took twice as long as the others and is definitely the best. <laughs> but the others are good too. I really like the vertical drop coaster. I think it works very well. And definitely a great idea of me to scale down. Thank you guys. I'm very happy with it too. Will you upload the park somewhere so we can download it? Yes. On the live stream. The fault. Looks just as good as you. Well, that's an insult because that means the park doesn't look good. Just kidding. That was an easy joke. Odd not seeing a snow region. Well, we don't have the snow theme. So, yeah. Also, that wouldn't really fit with the sides of the park. Because I kind of did, you know, there's desert here. So that's why this corner is desert. And yeah, that's why this corner is dirty. Why these, well, I mean, this corner is more dirt than this corner, but whatever. It's more, more rocks. Okay, now that this one is done. Thank you for the five streams. We're not quite done with this stream. We might have a little bit of fun again with this. Alright, pick um, a save file that you want to see and I'll tell a little bit about it. Yeah, we might do this for, I don't know, 20 minutes or whatever. I see a few very recent ones here. Jellyfish comparison. This is a scene from the looping coaster overview. The pre-built jellyfish. And uh, it's just, you know, it's a looping coaster pre-built. I just transformed it into four different coaster types and compared the stats. 
And the point was that... Let me actually put these in the correct spots. There we go. You can see the Jellyfish 4. Uh, well, Jellyfish, you know, jelly, this is the looping coaster. It was about looping coaster. It has, apart from the Twister coaster, which is just overpowered, the lowest intensity by far. And that was kind of the point, that it just has a low intensity rating. Hotel California, that's an incredibly recent one. I mean, to be fair, I was sorted by date, so it makes sense that they were all recent if I was somewhere high up. I didn't realize I was that high up. Um, Hotel California is one I literally did last stream. <laughs> It was a park where I had to drown guests to win. Well, I didn't, but I made a mistake and that made me have to drown guests to win. Alright, uh, da -da -da. pick one. Will you make a video about that? Once there's a correct version, some things need to change. Uh, yeah, I'm talking with the creator, but the idea is yes. Extreme Leafy Lake completed. Oh, this was when I did my extreme. Well, this was when I... Anyway, I did a lot of these extreme ones. Where is it? Extreme... I can't find it. I see all the other ones. But I can't see Extreme Leafy Lake completed. Uh... Diamond Heights, Evergreen Gardens, Poke Park, Diamond Heights. No, I literally don't see it. Are you sure that you're not... That you didn't type the wrong one? Because I don't see Extreme Leafy Lake completed. Oh, is it with an E? Oh, you saw it before. Well, it definitely exists. Um, Woodstock. Woodstock is just the uh, standard... Oh, that's loud. This is just this scenario. Why are some save files, if you load them, so much louder than others? That's weird, right? This is much louder. But yeah, uh, this was back in like 2016 when I did this. Uh, yeah, loads of pre-builds. I didn't build a lot of... It's not just the song. Some save files, I don't know, the music seems to be just louder than others. Um, four Leaf Clover. I'm just going through a few that you said. Four leaf clover. There we go. It's a four leaf clover. <laughs> Surprised? Uh, if we follow the train. Oh, I think it's a... Yeah, it's a slow one. Until we go down, obviously. And, uh... <laughs> Suddenly we went fast. So, the idea was that this... I think the idea was that this was, would be a coaster that would have... All its stats... Um, seven, like seven in seven stats. Which I eventually did end up doing called The Lucky Coaster. But that involved a bit more than just a four-leaf clover. There we go. It's a seven with a four-leaf clover on top. Didn't I make a video about this? I did. Before I was a YouTuber. And as you can see, 
7.77 excitement, 7.77 intensity, 7.77 nausea, 77 kilometers per hour at maximum speed, 77 and 7 seconds right time, 7,777 meters right length, and 7 drops. It's 7 stats have nothing but the number 7. And the train is here. It's going very slowly. It's a very long ride. It's very boring. But uh, yeah, it works. And there's, you know, still a little four leaf clover on the top. Oh, stupid rain. And uh, yeah, you know, this was when I did it. I also did pie. I did a pie coaster, which is in the shape of pie, and its stats are the first uh, nine digits of pie. I think it's called the Python. There we go. It is Pi. And, well, you know, the excitement rating calculations have changed a little bit, but it's, you know, 3.14. I can easily change that. 1.59, 2.65. I built this years ago. And if we just do this, 3.11. Okay, 15, 14, there we go, 3.14159265, that's pi for you, in the shape of pi, I'm quite proud of this, surely pi is 3.08, unfortunately not. Okay, what was other... Let's see. Um, what were other ones that were requested? Weenie World. Oh, that's a fun custom scenario that I played. Let's see. Weenie World. It's got a massive wiener. And I like massive wieners, so I like this scenario. I don't know who made this. I got it somewhere at some point, and I played it. It's called this coaster design, which I didn't build in this coaster, but it was built by me. And I've plastered it over a lot of coasters since. Or a lot of parks. I don't like it. It's it's and it's a bit too square. Something like that. I'm not a fan of it. Other than that, you know, you can see your mind mania. Is this it? No, this doesn't look like it. No, that's definitely one of my creations. It's very ugly. Yeah, I've, I've definitely used this in videos before. Um, Wendy's Swamp. Pretty sure that's just a custom scenario as well. Uh, let's see. I've got about 3,500 save files, so... Uh, that's why I can show off a lot. I just have a lot. Wow, so many cool, interesting coaster designs. Yay! <laughs> I like the RGB dodgems, though. But other than that, this is horrid. Absolutely horrid. What was the goal? A thousand guests. It's not particularly difficult either. Alright. Have fun. Pick a few. And we'll go through them. Joe's Peter saves. Uh, that's some old RST1 stuff. Not not for my brother. It's from someone else with the same name. Um, Highway to Hell. I quite like that one. Can I find... Oh, there it is. This is a custom uh, inverted coaster that I built. And I'm quite a fan of this. And I think it's a good design. This was still... 
Um, I think it was like 2017 or something like that. Long time ago. You know, it looks quite good in this... Uh, you know, in this landscape, but I definitely misused this design and just plastered it all over different parts where it was horridly ugly. But yeah, I'm happy with this. You know, I got good stats, definitely for an invert. Did I just... I just accidentally saved it. I still need to complain about when you save a park for the first time after opening it, it doesn't ask for confirmation because I end up accidentally saving parks all the time if we just do here highway to hell accidentally saved that one um, extreme leafy lake accidentally saved that one gigapark version 8 accidentally saved that one um, let's see yeah uh, no that was not actually an accident but there are a few more Oh yeah, Ghost Town 60 Squares 1 coaster. Yeah. Accidentally saved that one. Um, so I want to see Farmtopia. Let's scroll to Farmtopia. Well, speaking of ugly parks... <laughs> <laughs> this is horrible. I mean, you can guess when I built this. This was clearly back in like 2017, 2018, around that time. Because that, that, that's when I built a lot like this. You know, I see an issue with this park. Does anyone else see an issue with this park from this angle? Because I remember having that issue. And, uh... Plaguing me there. No stalls. Uh, no, no, no. That's not the problem. You can do fine without stalls. No, no, no. The park rating is not particularly great. And I see the problem. I mean, I see the problem because I know where the problem is because I just remembered it. Looks like a cool mountain, doesn't it? And it's still going down. Ta 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 <laughs> The guests are trapped. <laughs> exact same thing has happened with Quite a few rides in my evergreen gardens. Also, what are the stats of this thing? 877. Well, it is massive. That's a farm. Also, the idea was kind of that this is a traffic jam. And that everyone in the traffic jam has just gone to the park. Alright, what else was requested? Final Destination 2. It's not as exciting as you think it is. This is it. <laughs> you have to buy the land here. It's stupidly expensive. You have to make money and, you know, micro coaster and exploit, that kind of stuff. Because if you just start the park, let's see if I can find it. And uh, it's not there. I hope I still have it. Maybe it's in other parks. Yeah, there we go. You start with just one square of land and 10k. You can't get any more. And if you buy land, it's okay, it's not that expensive, but. You know, from the 10k, you can only buy this. And then you still have to build rides. So, you know. Will you one day tidy up those save files? No, never. I can find all I need. Okay, let's see. That was more requested, definitely. Um, 
or there wasn't. So let's scroll to another date again. To this one. All right, how about it? It was 1.sv6. Ah, just a boring one. <laughs> just a boring one. <laughs> rebirth? What the hell is a rebirth? Oh, this is Data Design Park. <laughs> yeah, I, I'll show you my version of it. Because I didn't build this. <laughs> this was by someone else. I also completed the park, but in my way. <laughs> this is a nice wooden coaster. It almost nine exity mints. Nice little twist. Err. And a giga. With ten exitament. Ooh. Fast launch. I mean, this is just a cool park, isn't it? This is not so great, though. That's just because it's unpopular. Okay, now let's look at my version of Data Design Park. <laughs> it works! <laughs> so, the goal is that, you know, you're completely financially ruined when you start this park. You just got a 420k park value and then, you know, I got 460k here. Oh, there we go! We just beat it. <laughs> I don't even know why I bothered connecting them up. You don't need to. <laughs> this is fantastic. Why is that previous one called Rebirth? I don't know. I didn't. I didn't make it. Uh, let's see. What else did people request? Pop test. Right, well, let's see what pop test is, because I don't know. Um, pop test. Okay, well, clearly this is some kind of test by me. Probably some kind of throughput one. Uh, they're both twister coasters. Oh, I remember making this. I don't think it was throughput. I think it was something to do with the stats. But I don't remember. Oh, they, got, they got identical excitement ratings. That... That can't be a coincidence, right? Is this for your YouTube videos? At some point, probably, I... You know, this was definitely for something. I don't remember what it was for, but... Like, what does POP stand for? Definitely not population. Because that makes no sense... In this context. Popping them balloons. I don't think that would be it either. Popular. You know what? Might have been the popularity. Something to do with that. They're, they're pretty much identical here. Maybe I tested something like that. I don't know. Oh god, I saved this one too. Well, that's what happens. <laughs> Um, what else did we get? Smarty something. Let's see. Um, Smarty this one. That's probably not mine. 
No, it definitely isn't. This is some cool theme park someone, presumably by that username, created. Look at these fences. With the benches. Very well done. We got a little ghost train. And a vertical drop coaster. With a standard color scheme. I'm disappointed. I don't like standard color schemes on rides. Hang on. Hey, that's the Philippine flag. That's cool. This was probably created by some Philippine user. Hang on, are we... Oh, we have underground view. Um... I quite like that. Lots of stalls here. A little dessert. With a mine train coast or mine ride. And Waldo. That's quite good, isn't it? Someone wanted to see portal cards. I even made a video about that. Let's have a little look. Uh, quite exciting. Look at this. They're teleporting through portals. Isn't that exciting? You can only do this with go karts and mini golfs. And it is because go-karts and minigolfs are um, guest-operated vehicles. Yes, minigolfs count as a vehicle here. And as a result, they can't exist on some track pieces. For example, these six missing track pieces. In fact, if we just do a little bit of this. This is a barrel roll. This is just the Immelman, whatever that's called. This is just a few track pieces with a merge. And there are a lot of merges here. And they just teleport past that. Merges are used, you know, for the 180 and 90 degree turns. Just so that that works. And, you know, the portal theme, because portal looks cool and works very well. Someone would like to see Pokemon.Suffizix. I have made a video about that one. Pokemon, 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 Pokemon. There it is. I built five Pokemon out of... Multi-dim track. There is Magnemite. We have Love Disc. We have Diglett. And we have Combi, which is definitely the best of the five. And we have Jumpluff. And uh, the video about this did terribly, which is no surprise. Um... But yeah, I quite uh, I quite like this, especially the combi. The combi is very well done. I'm very happy with it. The jump level, also, the diglet like is, you know, it's a bit easier, it's a bit uglier. Left disc was fairly easy as well. But yeah, I'm ha I'm very happy with this uh, with this save file. All right. Have a pick again. Uh, now, my desktop background is um, the Sinnoh region. When I built that from in uh, Roller Coaster Tycoon. Which is fun as well. I appreciate that you maintained consistency for Orange vs. Blue Portal, even though portals don't care. Oh yeah, you know, that just makes sense. 
Gemini City is boring. Glitch. I'm pretty sure that one's boring too. Because we're like five years late. Wait, no. Glitch. I think I thought it differently. I think. I if I can find it. Well, you know, I'll just sort by name and I'll find it. I think this might have just been in a park by someone called Glitch. I don't know. No, it was the glitch. Um, so, you know, this is a massive test park. And then we have this. Now, this is a bit weird. The weirdest thing is, I did none of this. I didn't place that block there. I didn't place that park fence there. I wouldn't even know how to. I didn't raise that land. I didn't make it desert colored or sand, I suppose. I didn't do any of any of that. Um, what I did is I placed like a thousand trees on the same tile, and then that happened. In fact, um, if I use the tile inspector, there's a lot of things there. Look at that. There's entrance, lots of base blocks. You know, if you just go here, it's just one surface tile, but here. Lots of base blocks, lots of surface, there's a bit of track. Lots of surfaces, more base blocks. Uh, lots of base blocks <laughs> and a lot of surface. <laughs> I don't know how that happened. Hang on, let's see if I still have that video on my channel. Um, if I... It, you know, I uploaded it unlisted can i filter for yeah filter for visibility let's do unlisted do i still have it because then i can show the glitch in action yes okay um this is the glitch because it was even more interesting than that look at this i'm not doing any of it. I'm just inspecting it with a tile inspector. It is doing it by itself. That's so weird. It doesn't behave like that anymore. It hasn't for years. This is this happened a long long time ago. It's so odd. It cycles through it. There's the same thing every time. It's weird. But yeah, look at this. It was uploaded 24th of June 2018. Here from the Christmas Eve. <laughs> That's why. Uh, I got a comment nine months ago. <laughs> did, did someone see. Someone has a link, or maybe they, they went to like an old bug report? Because I, you know, I've linked this in a bug report on GitHub at the time. Well, this Aurelian Dawn is just nine months ago. <laughs> I obviously showed this on the Christmas Eve stream too. Because, duh. <laughs> That's why that comment is there. 90 views. Yeah, you know, quite a few of those are from the bug report. Okay. Let's see. What else did you guys want? Get Schwifte. That's another one that's uh, not mine. Let's see. That's the name of a user. It was sort of... Oh! It was... Okay, so most of this is mine. Some isn't. All this stuff is mine. I made a park where I built like all of... Like a micro coaster for every coaster type, right? Not exactly micro, but, you know, stat requirement of 340 meters. So, what can you do? And then Get50 took this park and added some stuff to it, experimented with some stuff. For example, this. These are four launched coasters. And, well, they're a hell of a coaster. Is it me or... Like, they're only traversing a little bit of track. 
the most of the track they're not traversing. What if we make it with passing station? What happens then? Then it will go out of the back. Oh, that's much more interesting. Although it doesn't make it back. Well, it's not very well designed. This one, lots of path boni. Uh, you know, basic log flume stuff. And yeah, more log flume, more log flume. Oh my goodness. This is a Virginia reel. A wooden coaster. And a wooden wild mouse. In one. Hell, I'm missing one of the queue lines. I only see here the Virginia reel and here where's the wooden coaster queue line? Is it Where's the wooden hang on? Oh. Oh the other two are literally built around it. Well they were called wrapping paper, so Kind of makes sense. Oh, this might have been some kind of 10 by 10 thing or whatever. Oh, yeah, this was the smallest. Like the 6 by 6 coaster with 10 excitement. But it's airtime, so yeah, it doesn't count. There's definitely some experiments with longest 10 by 10 coaster. Uh, I don't know, whatever the hell this is. <laughs> I didn't build that, I think. I definitely built this one though. Also, you know, airtime. Bullshit. Okay. What else did we get? Disney World. First off, that sounds wrong. Secondly, that's an actual park that I didn't build. Let's see. Disney World. Massive corkscrew coasters with a beautiful station building. Some bobsled and invert on a hill. A twister. Another twister with. An what the hell is that? Why is there a kink in the chain lift? That's an ugly twister. This is a massive park. This definitely looks like a multiplayer park, right? The way this is set up, this very much looks like a multiplayer park. Like people just building a bit in re you know random spots. This is not how 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 you how people design parks in general. I must say this is very pretty. You know, with a little color change around the rocket. That's very well done. Oh yeah, there's Among I. <laughs> or that one. So, yeah, this is very much multiplayer. 100%. Uh, speaking of multiplayer, let's see what servers we can go on. I have never done that, I think, but... Let's see, which are on the latest dev version? Well, let's have a look at Dirkling Multiplayer. <laughs> Why not? Downloading all the objects. And there we go. What are they working on right now? Oh, it takes a long time to load. <laughs> oh, and I disconnected, but I did load the park. Oh, right, this park. It's on a hill. Oh, this looks tri- This looks v Oh. This looks trippy. This looks incredibly weird. This angle, fine. This angle, fine. This angle, fine. This angle, ah! That's- they just started this today because I saw the announcement. 
this is obviously some clouds in the void. Um, Dirkling multiplayer is, you know, you get your own plot and you can use whatever the hell cheats you like, but it's all NCSO, which means no custom scenery objects. So a lot of creativity is required. But, uh, yeah, you know, the last one, I last contest, that was not multiplayer, but the last kind of thing I hosted, well, I participated in, you know, the results video. Uh, let's see what else we get. I wonder if mass destruction is still a thing. The Owo Zone, only furry server. What? Uh, I'm scared, mom. Help, mom, pick me up, I'm scared. Oh! Oh my god, this park is massive. But it looks good and normal, except... Oh, I just disconnected. Except from this bit, because it's salmon pink, but other than that... Connections aren't very stable in this dev version, are they? This is a massive... Well, a limb coaster with a flawless train. It's called Unnamed by Felix. And this is triple the... Oh yeah, you can do colors in the right names now. I completely forgot. Triple double. That makes total sense. I like this area with the trees. Definitely some custom tree objects going on. With the color. Alright, CMX. How can you do that? I forgot. <laughs> it's got... Let me try. Um... If I just do R, yeah, that doesn't work. Uh, red, it does something like that. Maybe it's different brackets. I don't know. Try renaming. Hey, the red did disappear. Rename the color one. That's a good idea, but let's just. Okay, I can't figure that one out. Um, ah, baby blue triple topaz double. Damn, there are a lot of colors. So, if I do... Red... Uh, oh, they were... Oh, they were bendy. Or... Like these... Uh, There we go. That works. Alright, let's see if we get another server. What kind of interesting things we get. Uh, I wonder, does ma Yeah, mass destruction still exists. Hang on, let's see. Does it work on this version? Take a while to load. Oh yeah, we got loads of servers here. Yes, mass destruction is still a thing on that server. All right, uh, gonna close you. Ah, it crashes, good. And then we're gonna make this full screen and make it make some noise. There we go. Let's go on mass destruction, baby. For anyone who doesn't know that, mass destruction is a server without any rules, but surprisingly... This is not the mass destruction I remember. The mass destruction I remember had, like... Had, like, this everywhere. You know, stuff like that. And, oh my god, they have, like, literally every scenery thing. Oh, can't do that. Well, anyway, they, you know, they had things everywhere. That's the mass destruction I remember from, like, five years ago. Maybe I rebooted the server. Oh, the server will be reset, like, every week or whatever. Um, 
but that 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 happens regularly that's not the thing but every time mass destruction because it's got no rules would immediately be you know all that kind of stuff and i did that a lot too it was fun just building whatever you know building a stand-up coaster that was ridiculously fast and did a three billion laps or whatever you know and had a, a quadrillion intensity but there's none of that here this is i mean it's not exactly a finished park or anything and this coaster is a bit weird but other than that it's a beautiful park this is not the ass destruction i remember Although, well, this one is Garden Golf, that's a bit, you know, that's a pre bolt This reminds me of when Joel found the online part of Open RCT and people followed him to what server he was in and wrecked everything. Yeah, that's not nice. Like, on mass destruction, it's fine. Although, I would never wreck this, because this is way too pretty. Um, and I have no reason to, but you know, on a Lawless Anarchy server, it's fine. If it's just on some other server where people forgot to do permissions or whatever, then you're just a dick. Hey, there was actually someone on the server. Okay, I'm gonna leave a little message. Just because I can. Uh, de 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 um... And that's an A. And a very ugly R. Is that bad? <laughs> I think I can do this. If I just do. There we go, that's better. And then, well, I can't make an L, apparently. That's good enough for, a v oh, that's more like a Y. <laughs> uh, and then an S. Um, we'll make this, oh crap. Marcel Vos um, was. Yeah, we can do that better. You forgot the E. Ah, that makes sense. <laughs> That's why I was making that an E. <laughs> Halfway, I forgot I made it an L instead. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so good at this. Oh, hang on, we can just do that. And then I'll turn that into an O. Like that. And. Was. Hang on, these are only four tall. That's not good. I'm not good at writing this stuff. Ah, crap. Misclicked again. Was. And then the final word. Here. And another difficult R. There we go. Marcel Vos was here. <laughs> it went a bit shaky. But it is readable now. Alright. Almost nice. It is nice. Shut up. What else we got? Mozart's community, that's usually good stuff, I believe. We can't build anything, but that's fine. Let's see what we... Oh, received invalid data, shut up. 
How about this one? I think they have usually have good stuff. Holy la okay, that's fine. Um Yeah, this is definitely your standard multiplayer park. Lots of disconnected stuff. But it is pretty. Look at this wide river rapids. Problem with these parks is, you know, this park is absolutely massive. This park is like 500 by 500 or something. And 4,000 guests is barely anything for such a park. You know, you got 137 rides, of which a lot are coasters. That's just not much. Most rides, like, for example, this one. Yeah, it's got great stats. It's going to be mostly empty. It's on 100 customers an hour. What's the most popular ride in the park? 3,000. Is it close to an entrance? No, it's close to the middle. Most guests will be in the middle. That does make sense. But then you go down very quickly to below 1,000. And lots of them are very low numbers. So, while this is pretty... You know, great job on all the coasters and whatnot. It doesn't work that well in a massive multiplayer park. Because you just can't have enough guests to make it all work. Also, I'm pretty sure the pathing system is not so great here. What the hell is this supposed to be? Oh, that's Mario. <laughs> it's like a Jumpman stage. Lol. <laughs> you, got, you know, you got a lot of cool coasters, some racing coasters here. I must say, I quite like that. Listen to that. But yeah, it doesn't work all that well. Was that the same Mario as the video you did, you did recently? Yes. Okay, let's check out one more server. Let's see. We'll do... No griefers allowed. Don't worry, I'm not the griefer. Can I grief? I can't even grief. So what's that with the no griefers allowed? I wasn't gonna grief, but I was just wondering if I even could if I wanted to. Hey, I see a familiar right. <laughs> oh my goodness. This looks like a U design. But no. I think they actually built this themselves. I mean, U designs were built by people as well, of course. I have a lot of cool coasters here. I like this. This bit is well done with a wooden coaster, all the mining, whatever's, machines. Okay, that's a weird hill for the Giga Coaster. I bet that's like 10 excitement. Almost. Lots of other cool rides. This is a weird... Look at all those trains! <laughs> That's amazing! <laughs> that looks really cool. I quite like this park. Well done to whoever built this. I th this feels definitely like multiple people. Not only because we're all multiplayer, but it also just has the feel of it. I don't know. Anyway. Today? Oh, right. We're on an old version. Uh, let's open this version again. There we go. Today, 
We completed Magical Magic Quarters. After five streams, we finally completed this very cool park by building the quarter you see at the very bottom. All right, let's see if I can find someone to raid. If Twitch wants to loud, of course, always raid Brian, but I would rather raid someone else for once. How about Natis Dreamland, who is playing Crazy Castle and building an RMC? Alright, thank you very much for watching. Have fun at our stream. How do you join Raid? Just stay here. It will happen automatically. Um, I will initiate it. And I will see you later. On Wednesday or on Sunday. Bye bye. Good night. Sleep tight. Meow. Shrek out. <laughs>